Welcome to MD Bytes. In this video tutorial, you are going to watch how to use Scenario Manager in Excel. Scenario Manager is a water analysis tool works on different scenarios we provide. In this worksheet, we are going to calculate the net profit. You can see it is mentioned as projected net profit because the net profit is to be calculated based on the budget projection. Yes, this worksheet is all about budget projection. But here we are going to prepare the budget based on three set of scenarios by applying Scenario Manager. So for that, we need to click on Data tab and you can find the What If Analysis option in the forecast group here. Once you click on What If Analysis, you can find the Scenario Manager. As it mentioned in here, it creates different group of values where you can change over we can switch between the values. So we are going to prepare three set of budgets and we are going to switch between them. And before that, let us have a quick look on the data what we have in here, where we're going to prepare our budgets. So here, starting from gross revenue, we can find the gross revenue in here and the values of the gross revenue has to be identified. To calculate, we are going to add sales and shipping values in here. So these are the two values will be added in here to identify the total gross revenue. And then we have cost of goods sold, we have goods, freight, miscellaneous and their values in here. So here we are going to add it up to identify the cost of total goods. And here we are going to identify the gross profit by deducting the total cost from the total gross revenue value. So we are going to find out the gross profit in here. And then we have expenses and these are the expenses made and these are the values of the expenses. And here where we are going to total it up and we are going to find out the total expenses. And here finally the net profit will be identified by deducting the total expenses from the gross profit. We are going to identify the net profit. So all these values are for only the month of January. But here we are going to calculate for the next set of months starting from February to December and in column N we are going to have the total which will be the subtotals of each groups and then at the end we are going to calculate the total net profit the total net profit of the whole year as budgeted so this value will be also brought into cell F1 in here for our reference so that we can see the changes when we apply the scenarios and to calculate the values for the months from February to December the projection we are going to set it up with the percentage of change as 2 percentage for each and every month. So we will be calculating for February by taking the values of the January and by adding the percentage of change as 2 percentage and that will be applied for all the months by using relative reference. So now let us start doing the projection by starting up with the gross revenue for January. To calculate the gross revenue we have to apply the sum function to add the values of sales and shipping and provide the result in here, we can directly key in the formula in here by applying equals sum. But here we are not going to use this method. Rather, we also have another method to add the values of sales and shipping by having the auto sum method. For that, we need to select the home tab and here in editing, you have the auto sum icon which helps us in totaling but here we are not going to use this technique as well instead we are going to use another shortcut which is alt plus equals by selecting a cell we need to just press alt plus equals which does the same work of auto sum so here we have calculated the value of gross revenue now let us do the calculation for cost of goods total so for that again i just press alt plus equals which provides us the sum of cost of goods total so here we have the value i just enter to bring the value in here so now let us do the calculation for gross profit for which we need to apply a formula to detect the total cost from the total gross revenue in here so for that we just need to key in equals and then select the cell of gross revenue which is in b7 and minus the cell of total cost which is b13 and just enter so this is the value of gross profit so we have calculated by detecting the total cost from gross revenue. Now we move on to calculate the total expenses in here. For that I have selected the cell. I'm going to press alt plus equals so that auto sum function will be applied in here. I just enter so that I will get the total expenses. So this is the total expenses made. So now we are going to calculate the net profit. For calculating the net profit I need to deduct the total expenses from gross profit. For that I just key in equals and I'm going to apply the formula. I just press equals and I select the cell B15 where I got the gross profit and minus the total expenses the value which is in b25 
and enter so this is the net profit for the month of january so we have calculated the values for the month of january now we need to apply the same structure of calculations for the rest of the months from starting from february to december so let's start the calculation from the month of february by referencing the january month's values for that i just press equals and select the cell b5 the sales value of january and this must be multiplied with the percentage of change which is in cell i1 the two percentage and i now press function key f4 to make this cell to be the absolute reference value whereas we are going to use copy formula technique by copying this cell's formula to calculate the value of other months to have a sequential growth of value for each month in the form of change of percentage which will be two percentage of change now to complete this formula i just press plus symbol to add this again with the sales of january's value which is cell b5 and now i press enter so that i it gives the sales value for february which is increased with two percentage when compared to january's sales value now i do the copy formula to calculate the shipping value for the february month then again i do copy formula to the sales of other months starting from march to december so i'm just dragging the values in here you can see the values have been applied now you can see the change of percentage have been applied successfully in calculating the values for each month so next to calculate the gross revenue we just need to do the copy formula the relative reference technique by copying the formula applied in the month of january to the cells starting from the month of february to december so now you can see the formulas have been applied successfully and we have done the calculations of gross revenue for all the months so now let us move to make the calculation for cost value to start with we just apply the formula in the month of february for goods value by pressing equals and i select the january's value b10 and i'm going to multiply this with the change of percentage two percentage which is in cell i1 and i need to make this as absolute reference by pressing function key f4 and again add with the value of goods in january so I just press enter to get the value for the goods in the month of February and now I do copy formula to the rest of cost values in February month now again I do copy formula the same formulas to the rest of the months to calculate the values of cost for each month coming back to the cost of goods total we have already applied the sum function for the month of January now I do copy formula from the month of February to December to calculate the total for all the months in here so now we have applied the formula successfully to get the total cost of goods and we do the same for gross profit by dragging the formula from the month of February to December where we got the formula in the month of January so the gross profit have been also successfully calculated you can see the formulas applied in these three values now we move on to the expenses again to calculate the expenses these values will be multiplied with the change of percentage and again added with the values of January in here for the month of February so I just press equals in the month of February in here I select B18 the advertising cost for January and I multiply with the cell I1 which is two percentage which is the change of percentage and I press plus again I select the value of January months advertising cost and before applying this formula I need to make sure whether the cell I1 is absolutely referred or not and I press enter to get the values now I do copy formula to the other expenses made in the month of February and now I do copy formula to the rest of the months and to get the values of the expenses of each month now we have calculated the expenses values for each month to get the total expenses we have already applied the formula in the month of january you can see the sum function now we do copy formula to the rest of the months starting from february to december to get the total expenses made for each month now we move on to the calculation of net profit where we have the formula for net profit in the month of january so just we need to copy the formula to the rest of the cells starting from the month of february to december so now we have made the calculations in the cells in here now we move on to make the subtotals and totals in column n to get the totals in here for that i just press alt plus equals to get the values of subtotals of each segment 
for this we have got the values of shipping and sales and i do copy formula to get the gross revenue value now we move on to the cost value so this is the goods values where i just press all plus equals to get the subtotal of goods now i do the copy formula for the rest where we get the subtotals of goods and here we are going to get the sum of gross revenue by pressing all plus equals where we get the sum of gross revenue for the whole year now we are going to apply the same techniques to get the expenses by pressing all plus equals and i'm going to copy formula the same formulas here where we got the value for advertising so now i do copy formula to the rest now we got the values of the expenses made for each item in the whole year and also the total expenses made in the year now to get the total of net profit i just press all plus equals to get the total net profit in here so now we got the total net profit in cell n27 now we are going to make this value to be also appeared in cell f1 which is i'm going to key in the value just equals and cell number n27 which will bring the value of net profit the total net profit in here so now we have prepared the budget by calculating the gross revenue cost of goods sold and the expenses we have also calculated the gross profit and net profit in here and importantly the values in the month of january have been used as the base values to make the calculations of the other months starting from february to december and then the values of gross revenue gross profit and also the net profit has been calculated by those values now the values which we have in january plays an important role if we do some changes in here the net profit will be also changed so now what we are going to do is we are going to apply the scenario management and we are going to create three set of scenarios by changing the values in the month of January so I just click on data tab and I move on to what if analysis and now I select the scenario manager in here once selected we will get this scenario manager dialog box where we need to set up the scenarios by selecting the button add so once we click on add button a new dialog box to set up the parameters for scenarios will be appeared so i just click on add so this is the dialog box where we need to key in for that i need to set up the scenario name now i am just keying in as original values so i'm not going to change any values in here and that's i have named this scenario as original values for changing cells i just select the cell values of sales and shipping so b5 and b6 and also i just select b10 where we have the goods so these are the cells where we are going to do some changes in the next set of scenarios so i just give a comma and i select the cell b10 where we have the goods and just i click ok so now so i need to set up the values for the scenarios so i just leave these values as it is as i said this will be my original values so this is the first scenario so now i move on to add the next set of scenario by clicking add so now here we need to set up the values for the second scenario so this one will be the low budget sales so i just named this scenario as low budget sales and for the changing cells in here you can see b5 b6 b10 and i just leave the cell location as it is because i'm going to do the changes in these values only so now i'm going to change the values here b5 the sales is 156000 where i'm going to change this to 135000 so i just remove this 156000 and i reduce the sales to 135000 and here for shipping it is 26000 plus i'm going to change to 22500 so i just leave the goods as it is and i click ok so now the values have been reduced and this is going to be named as low budget sales so now we have set up the low budget sales scenario now you can see the changes in here if i select this low budget sales and i click show the net profit and the values will be changed so i have just clicked show you can you might have noticed the values have been changed in here now i again set the 
the original values so these are the two scenarios we have right now i'm going to add the third scenario which will be the high budget sales so here i'm going to name it as high sales and i'm not going to change the cell locations because i'm going to do the changes in these cells and i just click ok to set up the values for the scenarios and here for b5 the sales i'm going to revise this to 180,000. so 180,000 will be the sales value and for shipping i'm going to change this as 30,000. so the value of shipping will be increased to 30,000 in this budget and then the goods value will be also revised to 90,000. so this is going to be the high budget sales so i just click ok to see the scenario set up in here so now i click on high sales scenario and click on show to view the values in here you can see the changes happened in the cells again i click on the original value scenario and click on show to view the original scenario values so now i click back on low budget to view and i can switch between the scenarios however i need so this is how we apply scenario manager in excel